video, I'm going to go over the merge sort and adding merge sort to your deck class. Now, I gave you code, or I referenced code in Haiku to a website that had a recursive version of merge sort. I've copied that over into the deck class. Um, this version uses an array arrays of ints, so we're going to have to modify those to be array lists of cards. It uses, uh, it, this will become, numbers will become cards, and helper, I will name, we'll change, keep that uh, name, but we're going to have to change that to an array list. So um, let's go up and first do a couple of things up here. So we need an array list uh, called helper. So we create a list of card called helper. And then in the um, constructor, we define that array list to helper to reference an an array list of, we actually create the array list um, of card in size 52. Now, uh, this I actually, the first time I wrote this code, um, I, I forgot to do this line. So, because the, after having made this helper array here, uh, the size of the array is zero, right? Because although we defined it to hold 52 cards, none of, no card so it's actually been added to it, so um, so its size is going to be zero. Um, even though the underlying array list, by using the the um, the fifty two here uh, as the argument to the constructor, uh, the underlying array list has fifty two elements. It, that doesn't matter because the size field of the array list is set to zero, right? So we have to actually because we're going to be referencing different positions in the helper array, as you'll see in a moment, we have to actually fill it with something. So we'll just, what I do here is I just copy over, I do helper.add um, at the i positions, and so it's going to go from 0 to 51. It's going to uh, make a copy whatever uh, card is at the, at the, array lists i position right and we have filled the array list cards up here in the constructor we've done that previously um, okay so now at that point both the helper array list and the cards array list have a size of 52. okay cool now uh so let's do quickly uh let's change all reference to numbers to our array list, which is called cards, right? So we use uh, BlueJay's find replace, and we're going to find all occurrence of numbers and replace it with cards and all of them. Okay, cool. So that's done. Now this, uh, we don't need to do either of this, these things, because we've already done those up above. And uh, we can do this elsewhere. So here, what do we need in sort? Well, we don't need to pass anything in because we're doing everything using the fields of this class. And uh, we don't need this line or uh, we can get away right way without any of that. Uh, that so really all we need here is zero and um, the we can just pass in here this needs to be the number of elements in the list so we could just do cards dot size minus one or actually that's the uh, that's the high position within the array list, right? There are 52 cards, but the high position is 51. Okay, that's all we need for that. So uh, in merge sort itself, we don't need to make any changes. The low and high just refer to positions within array lists, so that's all fine. And this is what the merge sort with recursive calls gradually works down to where it's dealing with just subarrays of size one, which it then merges here uh, into sorted subarrays, first of size two, 
right? And then those subarrays of sorted subarrays of size two are merged into sorted subarrays of size four, and so on, back to where you're finally merging two sorted subarrays of uh, 26 and into your final sorted array of 52 cards, all right? Um, so here's where we need to make most of the changes in this. Um, so the, the syntax here has to change significantly, right? So it's helper, uh, instead of saying helper.i, which is what you do with array lists, you need to do helper.set. We're gonna set the i position, and this is exactly why we needed to do that uh, loop up above where we, where we created, filled the helper array list with 52 card references. So selper.set i to what? The reference to a card that it gets with cards. Oops. Dot sub i. Okay. So that's how you translate that, that array list. Helper.i equals cards. Card, helper sub i equals cards sub i into an array list notation. This is all fine, so we have to do this again. Helper dot get i and helper dot get j. Now, if you're thinking, following along, going, wait a minute, these are card objects. We can't use less than or equal to. So what we do is we'll move that over here um, we'll change this to compare to because we do have a compare to method in the card class and so we're going to compare this card to this card and uh, if If it's less than or equal to one, sorry, zero, less than or equal to zero, uh, then we're going to move. That would mean that that the card at the i position is smaller than the card at the j position, right? Smaller than or equal to. So in that case, what we do is we take that card and move it over back to the uh, original array list to the k position. Right, because that's smaller, and we're, we're taking these two subarrays and we're sorting them. So we want to pull the smaller one from uh, the smallest ones first from, from the tops of the subarrays. So if the top of this one subarray is smaller than the top of the other subarray, obviously the card from the, the, the top of that's smallest is going to come over to the merged subarray. But here we, we, we can't say card sub k. What we have to do is talk card sub set k, the k position, to helper sub get or dot get the i position. Okay. And this is going to be. Yep, cards dot set. We get that. So this is going to be cards dot set k to what to helper dot get j. Okay, and then finally down here. Uh, we have to, this is what moves over the, whatever was not copied up here uh, is now gets moved over in this little loop. And that card sub k equals helper sub a is exactly to card sub set k helper sub i. Sorry. Copy that, replace that, like that. And that should be good to go, let's see. Now we did. Um, cards sub i. 
What is our array list? Can I find simple card sub in? Our array list is cards. Uh, okay, that's good. So where is the error here? Sort. <laughs> yeah, okay, so boom. It just took me a second to find that. Cards dot get i. Um, right, there's a temptation to just forget that you need to use the method that you can just sort of say card sub i, just the way you do. If it's an array, do card sub i with the brackets. That's our card sub get i. So that should be fine. Uh, no other errors there. Let's compile this. Now let's just, what I have in deck tester is I uh, make the new deck and, and then I print it out in this line, then I shuffle it, then I print it out so I see that it shuffled, and then I call the sort method, which we just wrote, and then I print it again. Okay, so compile that. So let's see how that did. Looks like it worked. So here's our original deck of cards. Sorted, king, 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 queen, queen, queen. Now here it's been shuffled, nine, five, jack, three. That looks pretty shuffled. Now we call sort in here, and it's back to king, 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 king. So our, our uh, merge sort is working. Okay, so I hope that clarifies uh, how you move a, uh, how you translate a merge sort that uses arrays into a merge sort that uses array lists. And, that, and along the way, that you are a little bit clearer about how merge sort works. Okay, thanks.